There are many Republicans, conservatives, libertarians out there today who believe that conservatives need to step away from social issues. They say that we should stop fighting uh, for traditional marriage. They say that we should stop fighting uh, against abortion, stop fighting to overturn Roe v. Wade because they argue it will hurt us, uh, hurt Republicans in elections. Tommy Lauren, for example, is out there right now saying that we should not fight to overturn Roe v. Wade. It would not be a good idea if Brett Kavanaugh got into the Supreme Court and the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade. She's saying, look, we need to back off. And I could not disagree with that more. If you've listened to my radio program for a while, by the way, you know my thoughts on Tommy Lauren. I, I'm not going to sit here and trash the girl. As a matter of fact, most things she says, I agree with completely. Um, but the, the thing that I fundamentally disagree with her on is when it comes to sh uh, social conservatism. Again, she's one of these people who believes we need to back off. We need to, you know, wave the white flag. Give it up. I've never been about that. I never will be about that. I don't care if it's social conservatism, fiscal conservatism. We fight for it all. But anyway, I have a video that I want you to watch. Tommy Lauren arguing that we should not fight to repeal Roe v. Wade. Watch this. I'm gonna say something my fellow conservatives and Trump supporters may not like, but I must be true to my beliefs, whatever the party line. So it's time for final thoughts. Pressing for a Supreme Court decision to overturn Roe v. Wade would be a huge mistake. Yes, the new high court vacancy is a huge opportunity for conservative values and principles. I get it. And I understand the passion behind the pro-life movement. But to use conservatives' newfound power and pull to challenge a decision that, according to new Quinnipiac poll, most Americans support would be a mistake. All right, let me stop. Now, I'll remind you that Tommy Lauren, uh, as, as a personal matter, is uh, pro-choice. In her own words, she come, she's come out and said that she is pro-choice. Okay, so let's just get that out on the table. Now, she's saying that because this poll, I think it was a Quinnipiac poll she cited, says that the majority of Americans don't want Roe v. Wade overturned. Conservatives should not fight to overturn Roe v. Wade. In other words, we dictate how we govern, what we stand for, what we fight for based on a poll. I don't buy that, folks. I do not buy that. Your principles are your principles. Your values are your values. I'm not going to look at a poll and say, okay, well, you know, I'm strongly against abortion, but because this poll says that most, most Americans don't want Roe v. Wade overturned, I'm going to back off. Nuh-uh. Not this conservative. Keep watching. This president is winning for the American people on the economy, foreign policy, and tax reform. These are areas that benefit all Americans, regardless of religion or social beliefs. If we continue to focus on these things and immigration, we'll sail into 2020 with all three branches in our control. That's how we get things done for the American people. That's how we win. Let's go after sanctuary cities and push for voter ID laws. We lose when we start tampering with social issues. No, wrong. You're wrong. Conservatives win when they are conservative. Conservatives win when they are conservative. Period. End of story. We believe what we believe. We have principles. We have values. And that's it. Bottom line. I've always subscribed to the idea, folks, that if you are a conservative and you believe in your heart of hearts that abortion is wrong, you fight for it. Screw the polls. Screw, you know, political fallout, electoral fallout. Screw it. You fight for your principles. You fight for your principles. That's what the American people want. They want principled conservatives in office. Enough of these spineless Republicans who go out there and say, well, we're going to sacrifice this value, these values, these principles, because we want to win the election. Keep watching. Consider this. When Supreme Court Justice Neil Gorsuch got to his confirmation hearings with the Senate Judiciary Committee, he was grilled on the so-called Trump litmus test on abortion. He responded by telling Senator Lindsey Graham he would have walked out the door if Trump had asked him to overturn Roe. Even so if what? conservatives decide to go for the Roe v. Wade jugular, it's unlikely to succeed. Legal tradition makes it harder to overturn a past decision unless there are strong grounds for doing so. And a departure from precedent like Roe, which has since been upheld by other cases, is even harder to come by. During his hearing, Justice Gorsuch made a point of noting the decision had already been reaffirmed several times. 
Do we really want to fight for this? Alienate Democrats, moderates, and libertarians? Let me stop right there. This is another argument that I'm sick of. Do we really want to alienate moderates and Democrats here? Folks, let me make something as clear as I possibly can make it. No matter what Republicans do, no matter what positions we come out and support, they're always going to hate our guts. It's not going to make them support us anymore. Regardless of whether what we do with Roe v. Wade, regardless of our positions on abortion, what we say on abortion, how moderate we become, the Democrats hate our guts. The liberals hate our guts. They're not going to come over to our side. This is conservatism versus liberalism. That's what it's all about. It might sound cynical, but I'm just telling you the truth, folks. So, you know, even if we gave a little, we said, okay, well, you know, we won't fight to uh, overturn Roe v. Wade. We'll go a little bit more moderate on this issue. It's going to be for nothing. For nothing. And here's what I fear, ladies and gentlemen. Th this mentality is so dangerous to the Republican Party, which at its core, by the way, is conservative. We go a little bit to the left, a little bit to the center in hopes that the Democrats will come around and, and support us a little bit more. The moderates, we'll get the moderates. Then it doesn't happen. Then we go, okay, well, we still got to go a little bit more to the center. We'll get the moderates this time. Doesn't happen. The Democrats, doesn't happen. They don't support us. And then we go a little bit more to the center, away from conservatism. Still nothing, nothing works, nothing happens. And in the end, what happens is we have a Republican Party that is not conservative, that is a moderate, uh, center-left, really, party. So we'd have a center-left Republican Party versus the radical Democrat Party. I don't want to see that happen. This is, in many respects, a slippery slope. We stand for what we stand for. We fight for what's right. We fight for our principles. We fight for our values. That's the way it should be. Hi everyone, thanks for checking out my video. If you want to show your support, click on the thumbs up icon below this video. Leave a comment, tell me what you thought, and subscribe so you can stay up to date on all of my latest content. Thanks again and God bless.